rock in the woods. He was going to go the other direction. Let me zoom in. You got a nice pretty leaf right there. Yeah. He was going to go out the other direction. Well, actually, he was going to go out the other direction. I said, let's keep on walking this way. Let's go ahead and dig it. You're smaller than I am. You're getting there better than I can. That's a massive stock honker, too. Is it a two-pronger? Yeah. Well, there you go. This is a good size one too. Look at look, look the size of that base that that stock. C plus you got a bigger digging tool than I do. That's gonna have you do it, plus you're smaller. Yeah, he, 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 he already has bragging rights because he's already out dug me by a long shot. But like too, like he said, I was also recording things and taking pictures and stuff like that, so Good enough. But yeah, I mean, this here, <clears throat> dang, I'm a mosquito gnat. This is probably gnat. This is part of the uh, public area. And uh, yeah, it's loaded with all kinds of plants and weed and beneficial herbal material and y'all said y'all wanted to see some good nature video well here's a good nature video there's segments of them I'm not gonna do like a whole great big massive thing good size root isn't it yeah. that's a size of your thumb almost just dig the big ones leave the small ones Dig about two inches from the base of the base of stock. That way you don't tear up anything. There you go. Yeah, well. Well, that's a that's a hawker one there. I can see part of the the nap of it. <laughs> Next time I come here, I'm bringing that stupid boat for you. That about kill me. You can just leave the rest of them. Let them grow up nice and big and fat. Of course, there's, a, there's another fat one right there, but we'll leave him. Get the boat. That's like a cow. Swifting is pushing. Hmm. So I feel like a cow. There's a bunch of mayap on here still. Yeah. You mark some of those small ones like that and come back in the fall and dig them up. We get some good tea. But yeah, this is our canopy. Today is about 80, going to be like 80, 84, 82, somewhere around there. Low humidity. This is how I wanted to come out here and do this. Get, get, get some off the computer for a little while. He can learn a few things. And later on, if he ever hits hard times, he knows what to come look for now. Well, he'll probably forget by then, but you know, the more times he keeps doing it, the better off he is. Come here, booger. Hmm. See that right there? Yeah. That's a pawpaw tree. This tree? Nope. Keep going that over. One. That one right there, that's a pawpaw tree. This? That's a pawpaw. That's a small one, though. That's what that is. That's a pawpaw. The ones on the other side of the place where we go to like went, went with, a while back, uh, they actually had fruit on it. Pick any? Yeah, I picked some. It wasn't ripe when I picked it, but I picked some. The deers were, got to, before I did, they chewed everything up like you wouldn't believe. There's more sassafras. Dead sassafras tree there too. Hmm. A dead sassafras tree with two shoots coming up. Uh, that's a poplar. This may have 
Let me see. Yeah, that's my apple. That's a young one. Blackberry. It could be blackberry. It could be a wild rose. Probably blackberry though. Bugs all over me. I know, I do too. Trying to get in my eyes. Probably gnat. That's what gnats are good, mm -hmm. good for. Well, I'm not going to walk this all the way down the end. Egg. What is it? Egg. What kind of egg? Easter egg. Oh, a plastic one? Yeah. I thought this been like an egg egg, like a duck egg. But yeah, this is this is some good old stomping grounds. Of course, if you live here, you know exactly where it's at. But I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to give away all my uh, digging area spots, even though it's public ground. Uh, I'm kind of greedy that way. It's kind of like a, the old prospecting people. You know, They'll show you what they have, and they'll show you how much they got of it, but they won't tell you where to go to get it. Even like a fishing, a person that fishes all the time, you don't want to give away your good fishing hole because then everybody will come out there and they'll eradicate it. And as you've seen in my other video, I tried, you know, to leave a good portion. Of course, I could have dug it all. I could have been greedy and got all that little excess root, but I wanted to leave it so it'll grow back up and. That's my apple. See, see, once you learn my apple, you'll, you'll, you'll always know what it looks like. Except for my, my, my problem is I had a, a, a partial leaf of yellow root covering up part of the stem of the may apple. And I was like, I was like, hopey geez, I found me a great big one. And then I realized what I had and I was like, shh, So. I think, I think we're going to be done. I'm, I'm getting swarmed by gnats. I feel like a cow in the fields swooshing gnats. Tell you one thing though. There's money to be made in here. Of course, if we were to start off on a different side of the area and I'm going to put camera down because I don't want to give away all my personal secrets. I'd love to show you, but I don't want to. People come in here and go hog wild and ruin it for me later down the road. Now we can go out that side piece that way. We can. Well, this one here goes out more so the other way. So I'd like to walk it, but I need buck spray. And, whew, my beard ain't working too good for buck spray. But yeah, this is, as you see, look at there, good sized walnuts already hitting the ground. Let me zoom in. There's one there, one there, like two, one, two right there. I mean, they're just, just weighted all over the place because right above us, way, way up there, is a walnut tree. Let me zoom out. Let's see, there's the tree. It goes all the way up there in the canopy. You gonna pick up some walnuts? Yeah. Well, if you do, stick them in the backpack. I get four. I was gonna say too, nothing else. There's that walnut tree over there on the other side, that uh, bush line. We can always come back and get more. Split them and <laughs> split them, dry them out, and then crack them in the winter time. Now see right there. Mm -mm. What? Yellow? Yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. A little patch right here. And this is just right here in in the in the entrance part of it. All through here. And there's more, it looks like there's more over there. Did you drop your drink? Yeah. But yeah. 
See, we come back later this week and dig some more here. And I guarantee there's more on this side too somewhere. Oh, see root. Root, 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 root. Yeah, I'm not picky. I'll do segments. I'll break it up in segments. Do my digging. I can do it all in one day. I should, but I'm not. Here's all that little. Let me see if I get my camera lined out. I, I point, but it's going the wrong direction. So let's see. That tree right there. That little sassafras tree. That'd be good. Of course, you know, it's kind of small. I'd rather have it, you know, grow another year or two before I dig it up for its root. Now, me and Puckett, the guy I go with on Friday night occasionally, look at there, somebody's been digging there. Either a dog or maybe a deer. What's over there? Either a dog or a deer's been digging here. Might have been, could be, of course, could be Louie. I don't know, but they were digging for something to eat or something or other. Me and Puckett found a ton of small morels right here. This is our spot. And uh, between here and over there in that tall clump of grass they didn't mow, in that little dirt patch, we found a bunch right in there too. Because right there is the burn pile. And down by that log way down there, of course, I'm just talking about walnuts. Look at this. All these walnuts, these trees here, yeah. The branches are, this branch is hanging down, loaded with walnuts. And I'll come up here again, probably next couple of weeks. That's good ones. And then whenever they get done doing their thing, they fall. We'll come up here and we'll store up on some walnuts for the for the winter. Here's this. That's what I like about doing stuff like this. You always know where you get food. Of course, you know, walnuts aren't the best thing to eat. Now, now look at, that's funny, I chose them big old fat ones. Look at these little bitty skinny ones. They look like little shoveled up grapes. The ones in the other tree are a lot bigger. These are kind of yee. But here, look at this now. Here's the branch of the walnut tree, okay? We're going to follow it over. There's the tree right there. Going all the way down. Massive walnut tree. Well, I would say it's massive, but it's massive for me because my tree is like a stick going up, a branch sticking out. Now, over there, there's, there's that walnut tree there. The branch goes around this way, falls it down, and it hits right there at the base. Then it goes even farther up, way up there. And way up there in the very top canopy, it's full of walnuts up there, too. You imagine walking through and getting hit in the head of a walnut one day. That's why a lot of times I wear a hat of some kind. So well, that way if it does hit me, not really a hard hat, but sometimes that nature, especially in another month or two, because then things fall off hitching the head, but it give you a concussion. Hold on a sec, back the phone out, I put my stuff up. Well, I'm done with recording. Uh, I'm gonna download this and uh, I'll see y'all later. Well, I don't download it right now, but you know, when I get back to the house. So y'all have a great day.